Hello Year 2, it's Miss Buckley here and I'm teaching you your history lesson for today. So your learning question is, can I identify changes? And to achieve that learning question, you will have to explain what happened during the Great Fire of London. You will know that London had to be rebuilt after the fire and you will be able to identify the changes that were made in London after the fire. So have a look at the timeline that's on your screen and I would like you to talk to somebody, somebody who's next to you, somebody that's in your house and can you use the timeline to help you explain what happened during the Great Fire of London? Pause the video here so you can do it. Fantastic, well done. Now, my second question to you is, why did the fire spread so quickly? Why did the fire spread so quickly around London? The first reason was that the houses were made out of wood. That's why the fire went very quickly around London. The second reason was that the, that the houses were very close together. They were built very, very close together on very narrow roads. So it was easy for one house that was caught on fire. It was easy for the house next to it to also um, catch on fire. The third reason was that the wind was blowing so vigorously, that means so harshly, that it was spreading the fire between the different houses and also in 1666 there wasn't a fire brigade firefighters did not exist in those times so they were not able to call anybody to help them to come and put out the fire okay so why did the fire eventually stop houses in london were built very close together and were made from wood. Many of these houses had to be pulled down to stop the fire spreading between them. So the government at the time ordered that all of the houses, or most of the houses, were to be demolished, which means they were to be pulled down to stop the fire from spreading around London very quickly. The second one was the wind had stopped, so it wasn't spreading the fire anymore. In some areas, the ground was so hot, it took several days before people could walk there again. So because the fire, fire is a very, very hot thing. And because London was burning for five days, even though the fire had stopped, the ground was still extremely hot hot okay the ground hadn't yet cooled down from the fire so people were still not allowed to walk on the roads otherwise their feet would have got very burnt and at least 65,000 people were less homeless and without their belongings therefore London needed to be rebuilt these people had to rebuild their homes so King Charles II at the time, he was in charge of the country when the fire started. And King Charles II made a speech to the people of, the, of London. And if you look on the right hand side of the screen, this is his declaration from 1666. So the declaration outlines all the things that King Charles II said during his speech. And in his speech, he praised the courage of the people who tried to put out the fire. He was very, very thankful that London came together. They all worked together. They all tried to get water from the River Thames. They all worked as a team to try and put out the fire. And he also said that he wanted to rebuild the city and to make plans to ensure that another disaster like this did not happen ever again. Okay. Now on the screen you will see that there is a link to a video and I also have put this link in our remote learning timetable. Please click on this link from the remote learning timetable and 
I want you to watch and I want you to see how London changed after the Great Fire of London. Now the video is really really long and so I do not want you to watch all of it. What I would like you to do is when you press play on the video I would like you to move the cursor so the video starts at 7 minutes 20 seconds. So that's the bit where I want you to start watching it from. I want you to start watching the video from 7 minutes 20 seconds. And I would like you to stop watching the video when it gets to 11 minutes. Off you go. So on your screen, you have a picture of what London looked like before the fire. And there are some questions that I want you to think about when looking at this picture. The first thing I want you to think about is what was dangerous? Have a look. What was dangerous about this picture? What were the houses made of? What were the roads like? What were the buildings like? And how did people travel? Pause the video here and have a look. Okay, so what was dangerous? You could say that it was dangerous that there were many, many people traveling on boats on the River Thames. You could say that it was dangerous that it seems as though people were walking on the roads alongside the horses and carts. You could say that it was dangerous that there were houses on the bridge right in the middle of the River Thames. What were the houses made of? Now we know that the houses were made of wood at the time. What were the roads like? You can see that the roads were very, very narrow. There are lots of houses that are very close together and the roads were extremely narrow. What were the buildings like? Again, the buildings were extremely close together and there were quite a few tall buildings as well. And how did people travel? You could see that people were traveling on boats. You could also see that people were walking and traveling by horse and cart. So this was London before the fire started in 1666. Now, this is London after the fire. This is what London now looks like in 2021. And I want you to have a think about these questions. What has changed? What are the houses made of? What are the roads like? What are the buildings like? And how do people travel? Pause the video here. Okay, now let's have a think. What has changed? We can see that we now have lights in lots and lots of different buildings. We have lights on the bridge, on, and this is Tower Bridge in fact. So we can see that those things have changed. What are the houses made of? We know that our houses are made of bricks. What were the roads like? Well, it still looks quite busy, the roads. To be honest, it still looks quite busy, but we know that the houses are very strong and we know that nowadays we do not walk on the roads where um, horses travel, where um, the cars travel. We have a separate part of the road that we walk on, which is called the pavement. What are the buildings like? The buildings, we still have quite a few high buildings, but we know that the material the buildings are made out of are very, very strong. And how do people travel? Well, nowadays people travel by a bus, we travel by cars, we travel by our feet, we can walk, we have trains, we have trams, we have lots and lots of different modes of transport. Also, in 1666, the street lamps were balls of fire that had to be lit using the match. So, 
when the sun went down, there would be a person that would walk around. And if you look in the first picture, you can see that they would use a light or a match to light the street lamps to make sure that people could see where they were going at night. Now, in the present day, in 2021, our street lights have light bulbs and are solar powered. So when the sun goes down, our street lights automatically know that it's night time and that is when the lights then come on. Again, in 1666, people used a horse and cart and wooden boats to travel. Now we use buses, we have cars, we have trains, we have lots and lots of different modes of transport. Can you think of any types of transport that we use? So if you said that we can we now go on planes, you're correct. We can walk. Some people ride a bike. Um, some people drive a van or a lorry. There's lots and lots of different ways that we can travel. So your learning for today, what you are going to do is you can see that on the screen we have a picture of what London looked like in 1666. And we also have a picture of what London looks like now. That's why we say the present day, because that's presently, that's currently what London looks like today. We also have some sentence starters underneath. And your sentence starters say, in 1666, there were, now, in 2021, which is the year that we are currently in, we have. And I have also given you a word bank to help you. You can use this word bank if you would like to, but if you want to challenge yourself and use your brain, then you don't have to use the word bank. So what you are going to do is you are going to write sentences on your paper comparing what London had in 1666 and what London currently has now in 2021. So for example, my sentences could be in 1666 there were wooden houses. And I've used my word bank here and I've seen that wooden houses is there. So I've used the word wooden houses. Full stop. Now in 2021, we have brick houses. Full stop. So you're comparing the different things that we, that London had in 1666 to the things that we have now. You can pause the video here to make sure that the screen still shows the sentence starters and the word map so you can use that to help you. Off you go.